Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here on Shantae Marie, I am so excited to have you and thank you so much for tuning in. I upload videos weekly here on my channel. I'm a lifestyle vlogger and I am so excited to be able to share that with you. So make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button if that's something that you like to do. And also turn on notifications if you wanna be updated every single time that I upload a video. Today, we are actually going to be discussing what to pack for basic combat training. There are so many videos floating around here on YouTube about what you should and should not pack for basic training. And when it all comes down to it, yes, there is always a list in the military that you are going to be given anytime that you have to do anything, not just basic training, not just AIT. If you deploy, if you go to annual training, if you're active duty and you have to go to the field, any type of exercise, you will always have a packing list. Now the packing list will more than likely have mandatory items on there. Obviously TA-50 is your basic issue military items that you might need. Yes, those things are going to be on there, but at the end of the day, only you truly know what you need to survive every single day and it's just important to make sure that those things that you need are within the military guidelines as well so for my packing list for basic combat training I'm really just gonna give you guys what I would have liked to have had when I went to basic training because honestly I probably took way too much stuff and I'm just trying to help you guys out so when you first get ready to go to basic training, for me anyways, I actually went to MEPS and this is a process that's probably going to take a little while, but after all of the paperwork and everything's put together, they kind run, of run, run down the process of getting you to where you're going. So everybody that's at MEPS may or may not be going to the same location and it's important that you make sure to listen at this time because your recruiter should have given you a packet with all of your information in it and that's something that you are going to be giving the people at reception as soon as you get to basic training. So this packet is going to have everything from your contract to your security clearance, your documentation that basically proves, hey, I'm me and these are my credentials and that's what they're going to need. Your photo ID is necessary and I could give a whole spiel about not having it because let me just tell you, I forgot that bad boy when I went to MEPS and MEPS was almost two hours away from where I was living so my parents had to bring it to me. I ended up getting it just in time before we left to go to the airport. So make sure you have your photo ID. You also want to carry your social security card with you. If you have a marriage certificate, I would recommend taking that. It may be a requirement at this time. But you also need to have birth certificates of dependents and any information that you might need for that. I would say if it's something that impacts your military career in any way, I honestly would take it with you. It's also important that you have your immunization, have your immunization records because those are something that they're going to need because if they don't have them, they're gonna give you those shots. Now, you're gonna get shots anyways and you're gonna get a lot of them when you first get to basic training. It's just the name of the game. Everyone knows that that's a process and you suck it up and bear it. So I've heard a lot of people say that money is something that you need. Honestly, money when you go to leave for basic training is not something that you need to take with you. But just to be on the safe side, I think I took about $30 with me. You can take take however much you want, but I honestly wouldn't recommend going over $50. And I also would take your debit card with you as well. And I would make sure that before you leave, you contact your bank and let them know, hey, I'm traveling here for this many months because I had issues when I tried to use a debit card in Georgia during my AIT because they thought that my card had been stolen because it hadn't been used for a two month period while I was at basic training and then it was used in another state. So I would make sure to give them some sort of a heads up on that. And 
I would just make sure that you have that in some sort of wallet in the backpack that you're taking. So when I talk about backpacks, I definitely think that it came in handy for me to have a backpack that I packed with everything that I needed. It's basically a go bag for you the whole entire time and something easy that you can carry. You wanna make sure you pack that bad boy well because you're gonna be carrying it with you the whole time that you're there. I highly recommend keeping everything in that backpack and also taking a lock with you so that way you can lock it up when you get to reception because the area that you're sleeping in may or may not have lockers and that way you can lock your backpack. But if they don't have lockers, you can always put the lock through the little circles at the end of the zipper. Most backpacks have that and if, if the backpack that you take doesn't, find one that does. I also highly recommend taking a track phone. I didn't take my personal cell phone with me out of fear of it getting stolen. So I packed a whole entire bag for AIT that my parents actually brought to my basic training graduation so that I would have it. I recommend doing that and if you guys want to see a packing video for that, make sure you leave it in the comments below. So whenever we had the opportunity to go back to our sleeping area, I was able to get on the phone and text people. I didn't make phone calls, but I just texted people back home, which I'm really glad that I did that because when you first get to your actual company at basic training, they'll give you one phone call to basically call your family and tell them, hey, I'm good, I made it. Well, when I called home, I called two different phone numbers. We had 30 seconds and nobody answered the phone. Luckily, I had been texting them on the track phone as soon as I got there and they knew that I was safe. So not getting to talk to them wasn't as big of a deal. The bag that you bring with you, you do want to make sure that you have one extra set of clothes in there. Now, I've seen a lot of videos saying that you should take more than one set of clothes. You should, but you should take the clothes that are on your back when you go to MEPS to go to basic combat training. And then you should also put one extra set of clothes into that bag in case of emergency. Like if there was a death in your family and you needed to go home, you want that one extra set of clothes that you can change into. Now, the extra set of clothes and the clothes that you are wearing to MEPS need to not be vulgar, meaning that it shouldn't have any profanity on the shirt. Honestly, I would just wear a plain shirt. I would not wear anything that, that can be misconstrued or taken the wrong way. I then would also make sure that your top is an actual t-shirt, as in you have sleeves like this or nothing shorter than that because you don't want to give them any type of reason to tell you that you're not okay to go. You also want to make sure that you are wearing a decent set of, of pants. You want to make sure that you're actually wearing pants. I don't recommend wearing shorts no matter how hot it is. Most people wore nice jeans without holes in them or khakis. You also should wear some sort of shoe that you could do a lot of walking in. You don't want to be wearing sandals or anything that's uncomfortable because you just don't know what's going to happen. Now the one set of shoes that you are wearing is going to be the one set of shoes that you have the whole time. There's no need to pack another set of shoes in the bag. The only footwear that I would recommend putting in the bag would be flip-flops for the shower, which this is something that I would be picky about. I believe that I packed a set of shower shoes, a towel, and all of my shower materials, so body wash, shampoo, conditioner. I tra packed travel sizes of those, which by all means do that, but I highly recommend that you double think this because as soon as I got from MEPS to reception, I never had the opportunity to take a shower. I had to squeeze in time to be able to brush my teeth and I ended up having to brush my teeth with those little wispy things. I couldn't even use the toothpaste and toothbrush that I bought because you are literally being hustled and bustled around to get you off to basic combat training. So I really think you could get away with not taking that stuff, but I would take the shower stuff and the hygiene stuff 
just to be on the safe side because you don't want to get stuck with an NCO who basically makes a big deal out of you being disgusting. I would take it just to be safe, but more than likely you're not going to be able to use it because I was literally up for a day and a half without sleep before I finally was given the opportunity to sleep when I got there. It was non-stop, constant moving. And when they finally told us that we could sleep at reception, they told us that we had to be up in three hours. So I ended up sleeping maybe an hour and a half because I wanted to wake up and wash my face in the sink. So when it comes to hygiene, I said travel sized items, shampoo, conditioner, do not take any makeup. You don't need it. You also might want to take shaving cream and a razor, but more than likely, you're not going to have time for that as a female. Males, yes, because you're going to have to shave your face. You also want to make sure you have body wash, and I would make sure that you have a loofah or a washcloth, and also make sure that all of these items are something that you're willing to be able to just throw away. Also, as a female, I think it's very important that you take feminine hygiene products. Drill sergeants do not play the game of you using your cycle as an excuse in any way, shape, or form. So, you forgetting to bring that stuff is definitely going to draw attention to you. I would make sure that you have it and that you have it on your person at all times because you never know what's going to happen. You're in a stressful situation and a lot of people claim that they lose their cycle while they're at basic because of the stress, but take it from someone who's been there. I ended up having mine twice as much because the stress did the exact opposite for me. Everybody's body is different, but I just made sure that I was carrying it at all times. You're also going to want to make sure that you take hair ties and bobby pins. Whether you think you need it or not, you may think that your hair game's on point, but the drill sergeants are really quick to point out if it is not. If you have short hair, it meaning that you can't put it in a bun, I would recommend taking bobby pins and hair ties anyways because a lot of people feel like their hair is in regulation, but it actually is not. I don't know how many times at basic training, females would come in having just cut their hair, thinking that it was cute for them to have it in their little bob hairstyles. Drill sergeants will make you wear your hair exactly how it is supposed to be. And there is a certain angle that your hair is allowed to be cut at now according to AR670-1 and more than likely if you have short hair the drill sergeants are going to make you pin your hair back all the way down. There would literally be girls with short hair that their whole entire line of hair was bobby pins because they wanted their hair slicked back to where you were inconspicuous in a pool of soldiers. You also are going to want to make sure you take nail clippers just in case and deodorant. I cannot stress enough deodorant. Deodorant is so important and so many people, I don't know if they forget. I don't know if it's because their children and their parents have had to basically tell them how to be an adult, but the drill sergeants will tell you that they are not your mom or dad and deodorant is key for everyone. All right, so just a couple of other items that I think that you guys should really think about putting in your backpack when you go to basic training. And those items would be pens, taking a Sharpie, because as soon as you get issued your gear, you wanna make sure to put your name on it because the drill sergeants are going to dump everybody's bags into a pool of stuff and some of that stuff is TA-50. Also important if you're a female to make sure that you take a regular bra. I recommend wearing a sports bra to met the day that you leave from MEPS because it's just going to be more comfortable throughout the day and you're also probably going to be sweating depending on where and when you go during the year. And in your bag that's going to be kept in the locked room the whole time you're at basic, you should definitely bring a regular bra because you are going to be trying on your dress uniform closer to the end of your training. Now. When you bring that bra, do not bring bright colors. You always, always, always want to stick to neutrals. They will call you out for colored sports bras, colored underwear. It doesn't matter. I had some, some drill sergeants didn't even like black underwear. It's freaking crazy. The last thing that I really think you should take is a list of phone numbers and addresses because even though you think that you know, you're in such a stressful environment that you may not remember training. In the long run, you want to make sure 
that less is more in this case because when you get to basic training, they do somewhat ambush you and you have to do a lot of physical activity which may require you to lift bags up and down and the more you take, the more miserable that process is going to be. So less is more. If you guys have any other questions, you know where to leave them in the comments section. Once again, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications if you like and thumbs up this video. Until next time, I will see you guys soon.